DownloadSource.net. Hello everyone, Jasha here from Download Source. Now we've been getting a lot of questions lately about how to make your Facebook account truly secure. And the best way you can start is with a good password, but we'll get to that a little bit later. So we've put together a nice short article and a short video showing you how to do these. The first place we're going to start is with two-factor authentication. Okay, the best way to start also is to fire up your Facebook account on your computer. Once you're logged in and you have the main screen open, go to the top right hand corner and click the little arrow that points downwards. From here, scroll down to settings and bring your eyes up to the left hand corner where you can see the little security icon. Once you're into that menu, you should see quite a list of options. Now if you just start from the top, you've got login alerts and login approvals. Here, we're going to click on login approvals. As you can see here on my account, I already have it enabled, so I'll quickly turn it off so we can start from scratch. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is add a phone number. So click on the add phone number button just below login approvals. Here it's pretty straightforward, enter your country code, your phone number, and confirm with the text message. Once you've done this, you'll receive a text message, you'll have to enter the code, and it will save the phone number to your account. Now we can actually enable login approvals. Okay, with your phone number added, we can now activate two-factor authentication. Simply click on the enable button, leave the box ticked, it means you have seven days to turn it off without using the actual authenticator code. Just leave it ticked and click enable. That pretty much sums it up. Now your account is set to use an authenticator. Okay, so now that you have the authenticator active, I'll tell you how to use it. Basically, whenever you log into your Facebook account from a new device, say a new phone or a new computer, it's going to ask you for the code, which they will send you via SMS. So as you log in with your password, you'll get a text message asking you for the code as well. Simply open the text and enter the code into the box. Then, you have the option to save the browser and not save the browser. If you're working from home or wherever or it's your device, just click save. If you don't really feel like using your phone to get a code, there is an alternative. You can actually get preset codes. If you go down to the bottom of the login approvals page, you'll see recovery codes. Click get codes and you'll be given 10 pre-generated codes which you can keep it for as long as you like and enter at any time. Now once you've used all 10, you'll have to get a new list of codes. It's probably best to print these and keep them somewhere, just in case you need to use authentication and you don't have your phone or anything nearby. Well that pretty much sums up the video. If you'd like any more information, you can read the article, just click on the link in the description. Until next time everyone, have a good day. Download